What's happening guys? Um, today I'm going to tell you how you can make a dry boat knock, boat dock, <laughs> boat dock or an automatic boat dock. And I think I did a very, very brief showcase of this on my second video to our channel, but now I'm going to expand on this and actually show you exactly how to build it. Okay, first I'm going to show you exactly what's used for and why people use it. Okay, so say this is our ocean or lake or what, whatever our body of water is, and we've just come back with our boat. So we're in our boat and this is our boat dock. We go in, just simply pull this lever, it pulls us into the boat dock, and we turn around, pull the lever up again, and as you can see, you're not going to accidentally push it back out to sea and lose it. And then when you want to go back out to sea again, simply go here and press this button, and water will push you back out to sea. Cool. So now I'm going to show you how to build it. Well, I thought this nice little village here needed a nice dry boat dock, automatic boat dock, so I'm going to build it right here and show you how to build it. Okay, so what you'll need is a boat, but we won't worry about that for now. You'll need a bucket of water, or a few buckets of water, um, some solid blocks, some sticky pistons, a redstone torch, some redstone repeaters, some redstone dust, a lever, a button, and some dirt in case you want to patch it up. Okay, so to start off with, I've got a nice little leg here. Just make sure it's an even number of width. So then what you want to do is build two blocks here and then build two blocks down, like so, and put your sticky pistons at the bottom. Then you want to put your um, solid blocks on top, and obviously you can just use normal pistons instead of sticky pistons with a solid block on top, but this just looks way cooler. So then you, um, if you want to, just patch that up so it looks better. Then put two blocks here, and put a lever. Great, now this is where it gets kind of messy, because you have to actually go underground and redstone wire some stuff. So, first of all, dig a block under there, put some redstone, and basically want to make that redstone trail go all the way underground. So, I'll go underground and find it. Ah, oh, there it is. Cool. And dig it up here. And then go to the front of it. Oops. Uh, see, that's why I need a block of dirt because that happens. Anyway, go to the front of it. And there we go. Now, what we want to do. Put redstone repeaters here, here, and then round the back here, here, and then use your redstone and connect the two up. And yeah, there we go. So now you just connect this to the lever, like so. And now when you pull the lever, it should trigger the pistons. Yep, that's good. Cool. So now what we want to do, whoops, is patch that up. Cool. And patch up this hole you probably made. Okay, cool. Now you can patch this part up with a block like that. Now the second part to this, we want to put two blocks here. And on it, we want to put our button. Now we can just leave that for now. And basically, from here, dig down. And if you can still see resin directly under you, don't put it there. Put it on the block right here where you can't see redstone directly underneath you. Okay, over here what we want to do is put um, two sticky pins facing upwards, and then our solid block. So it should look just like that. And now around it we want to just draw this sort of figure. Like an arch, just like that. Then just destroy these and make it a solid block so it looks good. And create a nice wall around those two blocks. Great, and you might want to level it a bit higher as well. Cool. So now what we want to do, we make want to make it so when we press this button, it connects to those two sticky pistons under there. So to do this, first destroy that block so it's out of the way, put redstone under here, and then immediately put a redstone torch right here. Cool. Now just dig your way to those pistons, which I think are here. Yes, they are. And dig a bit more here. Now put two redstone repeaters here, and wire the redstone um, going from the redstone repeaters. Whoops, sorry. Um, going from the redstone repeaters to the redstone torch, which is over there, and it should by default push up. Cool. Uh, you might want to just put back those blocks you might have destroyed here. I think. Oh wait, no. Here. There we go. 
and then just fill the rest up with dirt or grass. Great, now what you can't do, because as you can see, if you put a block here, it'll flash and die out. So you don't want to do that. Just to replace this redstone torch, sorry. So what you want to do is put a block above it right here. That's why you put one right there. Now, if this is all correct, when you press that, it should open and close. Now what you want to do, put some water in here. So that way, when you open and close, it pours out some water. There we go. Cool. So what you can do from here is just, first of all, I'll just pull that down. Just patch up all this so it looks nice by, you know, putting it iron or whatever your block is. Oops. And you might also want to put some barricades on the side so it looks like, whoops. Oh. So, um, it doesn't look like these two blocks are just standing out. There we go. Great, and that's a perfectly functioning drive boat dock, automatic boat dock, whatever you want to call it. All you need to do now is put some water in to the lake, which that should be ready because you're probably using an ocean or whatever. So, that should be it. I'll just test it now, and you can see how it works. Okay, so we got our boat. Let's put it in the water. Get in it. Then we simply sort of well, maneuver to here. Pull this down. Should pull you in if you're close enough. Then pull it up. And, well, how do I teleport here? Anyway, pull it up. And when you want to go, you just get in, push this button, and it sends you straight out. Great, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like our content, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you want more tutorials, then click on the Kiwi folder. Check out our official website in the description below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give it a thumbs up. Goodbye.